for Xset. Yeah, BCJ was alone on the site there. It was a brutal spot. He's eventually going to drop as Xset, or excuse me, as a mortar able to take the site to get the spike down. Now we see Xset as they try to retake things. JC Stain, he's going to drop. He did on the Phoenix. We saw a chaotic pistol round earlier. Rossi, Rossi was devastated from that exact spot yesterday. Let's we'll see if he's able to do anything here. The clock continuing to tick away. Thwaifo's left alone. There's that sheriff. Good for one. He only has 21 health, though. He's not going to be around for long shot. It. Yeah. And they did this a couple times against, you know, Envy in the previous series, but they walked right into B main. Oh, boy. For another right. BXQ. Yep. JC Stanny with the blade storm didn't spot him, and Aaron was just able to hold things down. Aaron with three already looking for more. Good run try. He's gonna have to reload. Oh, not able to land the second. Rossi does, but it didn't matter at that point. Exit had done so much. Shot up's getting messed up a bit as well. He's gonna have to back off the ult orb going into the hands of Gangsters. He gets one step closer to bringing that Hunter Fury online. Meanwhile, Shot up just <laughs> continuing to push the matter in, getting another kill onto Aaron through the smoke. They're going to have full access onto A. Unless we did can do something about it. Unfortunate, man. The wall's there. That hot hands isn't going to come through. Now he's going to shoot it out. Rossi playing back. Trying to stay alive. So important in this situation. There's that lockdown that we talked about earlier. Shot up potentially looking to challenge. Spots one player, but has to back up. Yeah, they have to respect this lockdown. Oh, the lockdown goes down. They're going to funnel into the site now. Shot up already good for three. He did. Looking for more. Lands it. Looking for a second. He's going to have to switch to the classic. He's going to get sucker punch on the side by shot up. Feeling no information anywhere on the map. But now they know at least that Immortal is in the aim main. Execute comes out. Oh, Pure having to dash away after there's a good bit of aggression coming in from JC Stane. Gangsta using the Hunter's Fury. Tag a couple of members up. But Immortals managed to get onto the site. They disposed of the two members that were waiting there and now exit in a 3v5. Looking to retake. No ultimates online. They just kind of have to wait out the Cosmic Divide and now they're going to go. ECJ looking to shoot through the wall. That's huge. Thwaifo's going to have to invest even more utility. And yeah, that's a good bit of information from the Alarm Bot. Understanding where JC Stanny is. The clip runs dry. ECJ's left alone and oh no. A brutal spot, trying to get some more information, trying to use that. Right, right, here we go. The alarm bot got shot out. That was cute. They had to go forward. We did not able to land on anything with the Bucky. Meanwhile, shot up and Gangsta. Take care of a couple of members of Exit that were there, that were waiting, trying to play spoiler. Again, you have to remember they didn't have much as far as gun goes, but you don't really need a gun when you've got Pure's Blade Storm. He drops. Aaron gets one as well. A few members left on the side of Exit. 11 seconds left. He managed to get the spike down. But that's really pain X said as much as they delayed that. That was all a little bit easier in a five on four. Ooh, good lineup with the hot hands. And that doesn't feel good. Rossi down to 50 health. But the spike eventually does go down. Does go down. Excuse me. The Hunter Shirt coming out from BCJ. Able to get one. Gangsta alone. Woo. Not around for See Here nice. it is. The push coming in from Immortals. You see the, adapt the adaptation from JC Stanley checking that again because he wasn't going to be punished twice. Blade's just going a bit wide. Aaron seemed to be missing a ton of shots himself. But either way, he's able to get the kill with the classic. Pure looking for one as well. Shot up. Looking to put remaining. the round on his back. It's actually Rossi who's good for one. We did alone. Locked down there. I. This is certainly winnable spot, but yes, good for one curveball, good for the second, we did clutches of the way. Right here. Yeah, I kind of figured this would be mostly a full eco out of him instead. There is weaponry, as I say that, the Ares goes down, BCJ just collecting heads with the Odin, yep. a third, perhaps a fourth now. Yep. And that's that's all she wrote. And and I think it kind of just 10 points short, but again, pure, that, that, that space he was able to take, oh, you can see the temptation, he wanted a swing, now he goes, takes care of chemicals, Op shot goes just a bit wide as Pure continues to really wreak havoc across the middle of the map. Yeah, shot up losing his duel onto air and means this will be a five on two. JC Sandy low HP with the operator at a main. He'll fall. Gangsta now with the Odin. Who may at some point in this round have to counter spec. 
Oh, they're gonna swing. Oh. Pure narrowly missing. Meanwhile, JC Standing goes in aggressively. Challenges we did. Pure drops <laughs> as well. You highlighted it was dangerous, and JC Standing making you look brilliant left. in that moment with the Spectre. Gangsta's gonna get the spike down. A 2v4 here. And there's no reason to pull any punches. The last round of the half, the Cosmic Divide's gonna come out. BCJ does have the Hunter's Fury, and we've seen how good he can be with this weapon, but he's severely out of- oh, oh my gosh! BCJ already got three. Looking for another one. No, Gangsta trades it out. Dwyfo, Gangsta in a 1v1. Dwyfo, ring around the rosy around the generator, and Gangsta comes up. He trying to get all that information. And certainly, Immortal's JC aware Stanley. of it. Yeah. JC Stanley. JC Stanley is behind them. JC Stanley could be able to play spoiler. Oh, he dealt some damage. But that was it. He was able to dash away. Chemical still playing back on the site. He has a decent bit of utility to protect him initially. As members of Exet, they're just gonna, like, two ships passing in the night, they're gonna work their way through. Chemicals did spot one, though. The turret's there. Now Exet's stuck on the site. JC Sandy's there. The Frenzy is there as well. BCJ. Got free usage by BCJ. Chemicals didn't even get tagged. The Buggy's not gonna do much. And Rossi, yeah, he got one, but Dwyfo was able to pick him apart. They're gonna get entry onto the site. Remember, this is a rifle round for exit two into a, a mostly a bonus on the side of immortals. Thanks for using the drone to try to get some info. This pure pure is just so weak. All right, but what can immortals do to retake? Gangsta trying to spam through the wall. Good bit of utility being used, but that should be all that's left. Pure taking care of JC Stanny. Gangsta equalizing things, understanding there's another player right beneath him. He's gonna have to back up, not able to clear out the recon dart. Now they've gotta go, they're running out of time. The Leer's there, Aaron in a great spot to play spoiler, even if the rest of it goes sideways. Shot up good for one. He's gonna have to drop down and aggressively beat. Shot up's just out of time, man. He was out of time. That's where they wanna go, and JCC and he may get his chance here. But no, the, the Astro utility just enough. To push him back, make him think about it. Meanwhile, shot up, who's been so patient, I don't think he moved the entire round. Good for two, as Gangsta gets a couple as well. A 3k for Gangsta as Immortals keep that lead. They finally work their way in. JC Stanley's off, gets pushed up. Pyrrha goes in! Pyrrha good for one! He's gonna dash out, stays alive just barely, as we did with the Bucky. Gets one, Chemicals trades it out. The spike is down. JC Stanley bringing his own Blade Storm into the mix. Cloud, I mean, freaking smokes everywhere. You can't see a dang thing in that site. Uh, JCC dropping down, looking for kill. No, Dwyfo was good for it with the Frenzy. Gangsta just blindly shooting down as it looks like Exeter are freaking doing this thing with these weird guns. Find themselves in a great spot, but they're so dang weak. Gangsta is as well. He's also running out of time. He's got to go now. Hmm. What a response! From exit Lex. In default, you do have pure going over here towards this A main peak. Ooh. And that's, that's really close. Alright, here we go. BCJ, yeah. BCJ with the Hunter Fury good on JC Sandy. We did gets one as well. He still has that run it back. Flash comes out. Shot up punish. Shot up out. We did gets the kill. On that site by himself. We'll see if Rossi's able to play anything out. From back in market, wipe the wise is where they are, but the thing is they're running out of time. They've got to be able to get entry onto the site, they've got to do it fast. And who else but the Wifo to make it happen for? But JC Stanley coming up huge. JC Stanley looking for another a 1v1. The spike does go down, but JC Stanley does it again. Oh my goodness. In the biggest round of the half in the game, even. Now it's 10 apiece, both teams. Oh boy. So anxious to get it done here. We did all in the shot up at A, man. Right, early aggression really from both teams. Look at look at all of the look at the traffic jam on A long. Right? Like BCJ and Aaron are able to win that Spike planted. Spike goes down and Immortals once again in a retake situation. They have lockdown. Be huge. Here it is. Alright, and what do X set do to respond? They don't really have I mean they have shock darts. Wifo's pushing heaven. They're all pushing heaven. They are, my gosh. Rossi drops. Chemicals looking for another one. He's not going to be able to respond. What a beaut to match point. This map has gone back and forth. Highly contested between both of these squads. And Xset, the first to 12. Yeah, give me the turret. Closing that last frag out there, Wifo, but... 
Now, as we are on map point here. Coming out from BCJ to clear out the back of the site. Meanwhile, the lockdown was there as well, but Pure's Blade Storm is not going to connect. Angst takes care of him. Thwaifo in plane aggressively trying to get more space. The shot up drops. Exit have taken control of the site. Now Immortals in a numbers disadvantage in a 3v4 trying to retake. As Swipo gets the spike down. Aaron in a big spot here and JC Stanley understanding that. Aaron can really net this win. He can net the win and he does it. He's already gotten two chemicals response. A 1v3. And he's an idea of where chemicals is. This is such a difficult spot. But chemicals has to draw something up here. He's got to make some magic happen to keep the map alive. Immortals 38 health, he gets flat already set up in hookah. Got the wall teed up. I like this from Weedy. Great caution, patiently waiting. And they're gonna blast their way right through. The flash was there. They're trying to hunt Rossi down as he hightails it to safety. Manages to find his way into one of the smokes from Astra. He stays alive, and it's actually Weedy that drops. Absolute madness. Start oh. shot up, collecting two with paint shells. JC standing with two. Al drone through. Octagon area, XS sends theirs into Hookah, and the duel ensues with Rossi unaware that Pure is in his face. And again, they still don't seem fully committed, right? Like, look at Aaron, he's still holding the spike, they're still trying to figure out where they want to go, but you can tell as the moments take away, the wife is starting to rotate back towards B. They do want to try to hit the site, the trap wire was there, you see some of the smokes entering out as a fight for Elbow could be pivotal. Shot up with the Bucky. Making a ton of noise as Xset have gotten their way onto the site. Eren should be able to get the spike down. It's the Wipo drops. All right, here we go. Showstopper and hands the shot. If he blasts his way onto the site, good for one. But it got traded out as Pure gets three on the oh. round. The cosmic divide goes up. Pure. Oh my gosh, Pure. No, not able to land. Rossi was in his face as he wasn't able to do it. But we did was. Pure looking to get the spike down. Ten seconds left. They're going to have to move. We did in a great spot. He gets punished after getting one. And the spike hasn't been planted yet! Oh my gosh, shot up! Shot up with three delays it long enough to win the round for Immortals. What a play! What? And not really have to forego a ton of space. Right, and the other problem is, as soon as they shoot the wall out, you saw the rotate over to B because they know where that's where the hit's gonna go. The spike is just now making it onto the site. Aaron should be able to get it down, but Rossi has already come up with a couple of really big kills. Fight for pipes control continuing. He did playing just around elbow. The res is gonna come up. But again, you see we did and Thwaifo both playing entries in to, out of that area into B. Where there's really no easy way in. Shot up with the showstopper. Good for one. Gakes as well. Thwaifo looking to play some heroics. Good for one. But again, he's gotta check everything so quickly. And shot up just toy. Winning the rounds. A lot of that has to do with how well guys like Shot Up are playing for immortals. Yeah, he's having himself a map. Feel the pressure for Zay and shot up again, just I mean running at them. Right? And he still manages to get one. On to Weeded with the paint shells. You hear the seekers come out. Chemicals holding fast. Able to get a couple of kills already. But somehow through that chaos, it's Aaron and BCJ who remain alive. The cosmic divide is still in tow. As well, they both Rossi not letting anyone push their way in from wall. You hear the cosmic divide is gonna come out in conjunction with BCJ's Hunter's Fury. Good for two! Wow. As BCJ already gets onto three and they use that Q to flip the map. He's standing oh, burned out of that corner, but oh wow. <laughs> Should tell them a, a good bit, right? The, the cosmic divide's gonna come out. So is the showstopper from Pure as he works his way onto the site. You haul not checked. All right. Well, so they get info to understand where he is, and I love that wraparound, right? Going around the APC to take back U Haul control and get the kill that they need. The spike goes down. Rossi playing around the lockdown. Here we go. Shot up. Good on the swipe. He's going to blast across. He's going to take care of Aaron as well. Cabbage is in his face, but it doesn't matter as he lands the kill. ECJ looking to get some action as well, and he's going to drop. Gangsta's going to get the defuse. It looked good for Xset for a moment, but Immortals get another round. Yeah, I mean, the wife. See some of the flashes coming out. As it, I believe for the first time, they're really aggressively okay. looking to exploit a short this time around. But again, an excellent response from Gangsta. He's going to use the Hunter Fury shot. He's going to use his showstopper as well to stuff any push coming that way.
right? And they get the res onto JC Stanny, ECJ. Wow. His trademark Sage on by. Okay, the Wipo really needs to somehow find life. Finds one. Unfortunately, actually, Cure does find another one, so two on three, the retake will be tough here for Immortals. Or sorry, it, for X hit. It, it will, and you know, at that point, given where the wall is, you're comfortable giving up showers control, you have to hang on to Yuha, and that's exactly where X set are headed. The shorty. But... Well, maybe they can come back, never lose faith. <laughs> this is 12-1. Okay, start thinking about your game plan for the next map. <laughs> Exit. Okay, going to burn out trying to come back in this half. But I think there is something to be said for like, you know, like sure. Very much out of reach. Mm. Uh, as Mortal's on the attack, playing this one nice and slow. Lipo's going to get one. But then it's, I mean, it kind of has to back up. Shock darts, bullets, everything flying his way. They've thrown that and the kitchen sink at him as Thwifo drops. Looks like they're going to get onto A. And Pyrrha was in a good spot, at least good enough of a spot to get one and delay things a bit, but not enough to stop things entirely. The wall is going to go up out of Rossi. The spike is going to go down. Xset looking to retake from Pipes. Again, understanding that u home is a place where things have to go down. And they do go down uh, in favor of Immortals. Aaron, the last man standing. You mentioned at this point, if you just sight, he's gotten into the back. I believe that's Twyfo. Yeah, Twyfo just on the other side of the wall in a pretty precarious spot, having to shoot the Roomba out. Meanwhile, we did. Good for one. Pure has arrived to the party. Mm. Oh, this is such a good spot. Mm. This is such a good spot. Pure is able to take one out. Exit members on the side uh, of Exit playing towards A. He did with the Bucky. The judge was no good. Can the Bucky deliver more? Yes, it can. Good for one. Chemicals trades it out as they dash their way onto A. But, oh my gosh, Ramps was left unchecked. Aaron's going to work his way in. Yeah, he's good for one. And he steps back. I love that. Shot up, taking care of Pure. Oh, shot up, good for another one as well. The blast pack oh up. Oh my gosh. An excellent response from Immortals. Oh. Undeterred is taking ropes. Always a split through way heaven. Yeah, no question about it. Right there, blasting all the way in. But there's some of that utility again from Breach, from Killjoy, that just delays them long enough, right? And with 15 seconds left, you're going to have to do something very quickly as Twyfel's still looking to continue to anchor onto the back of the site. Good to take care of JC Staney. Continues to cause havoc. Meanwhile, Aaron comes in from the side. Suck. They both read them. They both read each other at the same time. There was no fault line out of DCJ in the garage. There was nobody there, but they were on the other side. And they both played that so well. We did good for another one. It. He's gonna bring back BCJ. And they understand where that kill's coming from. Not able to get another one. Immortals responds with strength of their own as JC Sandy and Gangster are able to get a couple. Wow, I hope Things they still win yet. this round, Doug. Because that may have been the worst res of the year, if not. <laughs> and the best. Gangsta in the same round. Maybe not the best, but certainly better in the previous one. Except pushes forward. BCJ good for two. Waifo. Really, that could have gone the way of Immortals, which yeah. probably should have happened. Nevertheless, another AXC coming through. And oh Waifo immediately pressured, but he finds the first on a Chemicals. And now it's a five on four. Yeah, I believe Chemicals had a Bucky who wasn't going to deal enough damage in that moment as we did very comfortable giving up the site, as is the rest of Xset, understanding that if they can keep control of Heaven, they're just fine. Rolling Thunder's going to come out. Twyfo in that moment pushes in. A shot up gets two with the Showstopper. Looking for a third. Yep. Gets it. Drops. Twyfo with three of his own as Rossi's going to follow as fall as well. Twyfo with four on the round. And while it seemed like nothing was going in favor of Xset on Bind... Lex. I think the biggest part for me, Doug, is Exit is not giving away oh, any picks. No. Oh. oh, here we go. Good rolling thunder and the cosmic defy, but my gosh, BCJ. BCJ, they just walk into his lap and he mows him down. It's open season on Immortals players there for BCJ as he gets three. JC stands oh. is Weeded's wall is up across the middle of the map. But I like what we're seeing out of chemicals here, just like patiently waiting, ensuring nobody's pushing his way through. They're gonna, they, they may be able to get onto the site pretty well. Yeah, the flashes are coming through with Wipo, looking to stand strong yet again. Two, three, four, oh nine, Wipo with the ace, it. baby! Are you kidding me? What? Left stuff. 
Ten seconds left. Wifo, they don't know he's there, right? The smokes went up, the wall was there as well. He's playing around the pillar, the footsteps come through, and Blyfo drops. It didn't matter if they knew he was there or not, smoke or not, he drops. And now, Mortals can set up this really pretty high-low on this corner that, the truth is, Exit has to check, right? Like, they have to push into, they have to clear that out. Can't afford not to. JC Sandy swings. Pure does as well. Gangsta, Pure in a 1v1, and Pure with that. By the stairs is so sketch. Shot up already good for two. Oh man, pure showstopper gets a couple of his own. The res is gonna come up. Wifo alone in a 1v3. He's not around for long. Immortals play that really well. And Xset, if Wifo's there, he's gonna be there for some help as well. But so far, Aaron's so good. Hasn't been spotted. Not even able to get a kill. Right, as Wifo is good for one, but he eventually drops as well. It's gonna be on the remaining members of Xset on the rotate to retake. Yeah, 20 seconds left. I imagine they're going to come through the divide. Yep. Try and use that few seconds where they know it's just a two on three as the planner drops that spike on sight. Oh. They see Stanny at main has other plans. Silencing we did who came through the screens. Wow. Got to get second on a pure with a classic. And now it's just BCJ in a 1v3. Two opponents are a little weakened, so he finds the first onto the healthy JC oh. Stanny. Rolling thunder ensues. Oh. The chemicals. Wise to it, man, he's going to get a chance at something special here. But when you've got a couple of players on the other side, he didn't even really know. It was just pure he saw. But at that point, you have every idea of where the play's going. Good flash. Chemicals drops. Frosty looking for another one. He managed to flash both, but wasn't able to connect on anything. But the classic pure is going to get the spike down. Gangsta and JC Stanny. Yeah, JC Stanny, uh, the wall goes down. Now it's going to give him a bit of room to work with, but a 2v5 where they're all huddled onto the site, make that a 1v5. You know where you are, too. It's just almost a foregone conclusion here. Try and jinx them there. But even just handling oh. that anti-eco in the round prior was impressive to watch. A shot up opens it up now onto Thwaifo. First and that kill comes to do, and as you said, they're going to reconsider how they choose to play things. They want to go up the middle of the map and actually return right back to where they came from, potentially looking to clear out some utility and vents. It was just how a sound fake to draw the rotate. You see uh, chemicals flying to A now. Uh, yeah, flying to A. He's coming back, but right out the B site, it's now theirs. Ooh. Chemicals like managing to dash to safety. The wall was there, but it looks like Exit had managed to get onto the site anyway. The spike is going to go down. And they can't, I mean, they're going to have to shoot through the wall to get back into heaven. And you can't really go in from defender spawn because that's not necessarily safe either, understanding there may be a crossfire. How do Immortals get back into this thing? How do they get into the site? It looks like they're going to opt to take heaven control. The spike continues to tip away. Shot up. Creeping his way around. Spots one. Shot up looking for a second. No, it's we did impure the lead gangsta alone. And uh, impressive. It's so much fun to watch. I mean, this is this is why you know I, I personally do, but others as well speak so highly of Xset and the, the, the capabilities of this roster. I mean, 12 to 3 on attack side split now. There it is. Right. From we all, but it's going into Eden. So oh, to bring Pure back. Chemicals with the Bucky, though, just jumping over the wall and raining fire down upon their members of Exet who were just on the other side. Somehow, the mid round calls. Whether or not they're able to find something to exploit that there. They're wanting to go towards Heaven. An excellent crossfire, but we did Pure snuff it out. Shot up in Chemicals alone. Chemicals once again with the Bucky. He's eventually going to drop. Shot up. Fighting. To keep his team alive. To keep his team in the tournament. In a 1v2, Weeded gets a spike down. And things come to a screeching halt. Shot up, spotting one. They understand where he is now, and that's so much information gathered for Xset. You still have Astro Utility shot up. I like that, playing out the fake. Not blasting all the way through the gravity ball, not going to connect. He did watch to it. Oh my gosh, we 